Chapter 7, Learning Objective 1. Define and explain internal control over cash. The policies and procedures implemented by management to protect assets are collectively referred to as internal controls. And these not only protect, but they also aid in ensuring accounting records are accurate, promote the timely preparation of financial statements, ensure compliance with laws and regulations, and promote efficient operations. Whether accounting records are electronic or not, effective internal controls ensure that adequate accounting records are maintained, that transactions are authorized, and the duties of employees are divided between record keeping and control of assets, as well as their work being checked by others. The effectiveness of internal controls are limited by human error due to negligence or mistakes, and fraud, which is an intentional decision to circumvent the internal control systems for personal gain. In situations where two or more employees are engaged in fraudulent activities together, they're said to be in collusion, and that's actually hard to detect. Examples of internal controls include mandatory drug testing, video surveillance, scrutiny of company emails, and procedure controls applied to a company's accounting system to ensure efficiency, accuracy, reliability, and timeliness. Good internal controls for accounting include adequate documentation, employee training in the application of internal controls, implementing a chart of accounts which aids in the production of timely and useful financial information, the financial data from transactions should be prepared and recorded as soon as possible, and financial documents such as invoices and receipts should be consecutively pre-numbered to easily spot missing documents. Good internal controls for cash include ensuring adequate procedures for protecting cash receipts and payments, and these vary among different companies depending on the size, number of employees, and cash sources. They may include the separation of duties of cash record keeping from physical handling of cash, same-day deposits to prevent opportunities for theft, or payments by check or electronic funds transfer, or EFT, to provide a verifiable external record of the payment. Forms of internal control over cash include use of petty cash account, preparation of bank reconciliations, and the use of debit and credit cards as methods of payment from customers for sales transactions.